right, Kurtz Barbell, Chad Ikes. Here we go again. I needed to make a video on, what am I gonna call this? Inverted bench press rows for one of my online clients. And I thought, hey, I should probably just make a video for the YouTube channel and share this with everybody because this is a great exercise. You got to remember your lats are hugely important in all three of the big power lifts, the squat, the deadlift, and especially the bench. The problem is we need to be able to control those muscles in the proper positions. So a lot of times I'm a big fan of like bent over rows, which I'll do with the belt squat, uh, barbells, doing dumbbell bent rows, but that's not in the same position as the bench press. And a lot of people have a hard time doing rows while they're holding proper positions. Their head will come forward, they'll round their back, they won't keep their low back tight, they won't have a good brace. And one of the things we need to do is we need to have, we need to be strong in the position of the bench press. So basically what we're gonna do is an inver inverted band bench row. Really simple as most, most things are. All we've really done here is taking a bar, loop some bands to the top of the rack. I'll get you another angle here in a second. And then we're gonna pull, we're gonna row this bar down into ourselves. Having a strong upper back, having strong lats, is really gonna help the stability of your bench press. It's gonna help keep your shoulders in depression. It's going to help keep your back tight, which is going to help you drive out of the hole and it's going to help you lock out because instead of flaring and letting your elbows up, it's going to keep your shoulders in a strong position so you can utilize all the strength you've also built in your tricep muscles. I'm a little bit tired today because I'm dealing with some sleep stuff, but I, I think I can get through this. So, all right, let's go. So basically what we have here is I just loop the band around the top of the rack. Then we ran the bar through the band. So it's really easy and simple to set up. Doesn't take much time at all. I just set this one up here with my gray Elite FTS bands. You might have to play around with the band a little bit. You might need to use an average and a smaller one or a mini, micro mini. You might need to play around with it, which you want is you want the band tension tight enough that you can come down and touch exactly where you would touch with your bench and be able to hold that for like a little bit of a pause. Uh, not bam, bam, bam. You want to come down and hold it, let it up, hold it, and you want to control the eccentric on that. So it may take you a little while to find the right tension for you. And then as you get stronger, of course, you want to increase to where you have more tension. So remember, we want to set up just like we're doing a regular bench press. So if I had guys here, I would just set up and then I would have them bring the bar down towards me. I don't have that. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the bar. Then I'm going to get myself in position. And now right here, I want my regular bench grip. I want my head into the back. I'm rooting my feet. I'm driving my butt into my shoulders. I'm going to get a good brace. Retract my scapula and keep them tight. Come down to where I hit. Pause. Back up. Just like that. So I'm hitting where I'm gonna hit with my regular bench. I have my elbows at the same angle as my regular bench. I'm keeping my chin down, my head tucked, keeping my butt driving into my shoulders, all your regular bench technique. And then as you can see with the band, I had it to where the band's almost a straight pull. So there's a slight angle in the band, but not very much. You want it to be as straight up and down as possible. So there you go. I really feel like people make this 
strength training way more complicated than it is. It has complexities, but it's not that complicated. I put some bands up here, I put a bar through it, I kept the same position I keep on my bench, and I'm doing a reverse bench. Trying to hold my position and use those same muscles. Trying to really activate my back in that position. Seems pretty simple. How I'm gonna incorporate this is this is usually going to be, I usually still try to do some sort of heavy rowing movement first. And then I'll use this as a second exercise to that. I want to do somewhere around three to four sets, eight to 12 reps. And again, I'm not, don't go where you got to bounce it, like control it. Feel your lats activating. Feel how when you come down, you're not going to go Ugh. like you need to come like you're coming up to the bar. So I'm still coming up and meeting the bar and I'm feeling my lats activate and holding it, holding my shoulders in depression while I'm also using my uh, rhomboids, mid and lower traps to, to keep my scaps retracted at the same time. And really, that's it. Please like this channel. Please subscribe to this channel. Please share this channel. I'm slowly growing it, but I still need a lot more followers uh, so that we can generate a little income, start some other stuff. I have some more ideas I want to work on. As you can see, if you're watching this channel, you now know that I'm posting the audio podcast on YouTube Music as well as the video podcast of Courage Barbell Unlimited on the YouTube channel. And you can still watch it on Spotify, Amazon Music, basically wherever you watch most of your podcasts. The only one I don't do is Apple, and I have reasons for that. But it may change later. You never know. Uh, check out couragebarbell.com. Pick up a t-shirt or a hat or something. That always helps out a little bit here and there. And I'm done. I really got nothing else to say. So I'm out of here.